Welcome back to my channel, folks. My name is Patrick Tauya Matope, and I post videos about social work practice. Thank you for watching and subscribing. In today's video, I will be taking you through what the Practice Educator course in social work is, and why you should consider doing it if you are a qualified social worker with a passion to develop, nurture, guide, mentor, supervise and teach others what we do. This is a course offered by plenty of schools of social work in England and Wales, and is designed for registered social workers who want to be partakers in others' learning and practice development. Remember, most managerial roles will require you to have done this course. It's designed in such a way that it will enable you to gain Stage 1 and Stage 2 of the Practice Educator Professional Standards, PEPS, currently held by the British Association of Social Workers, BSW. It is ideal if you would like to develop to be part of the next generation of social workers who are able to teach others, supervise students, newly qualified social workers, and objectively observe them during practice placements. It will also enable you to progress through the Professional Capabilities Framework PCF levels and develop your leadership skills. The course is aligned with Chief Social Workers' Knowledge and Skills Statements for practice leaders and practice supervisors. Most universities that offer this course are linked to local authorities who will be able to offer students placements. I would recommend that you contact your Practice and Development Academy manager if you are interested in doing the Practice Educator course. Most universities offering this course are well established in offering such programs across various fields like social work and nursing, etc. You will need to look for a university with a strong professional reputation if you are a locum social workers and looking to fund this yourself. Most of these Practice Educator courses are developed to suit the local challenges as these can vary from London to West Yorkshire, for example. The users of social work services are also consulted in developing the curriculum of most universities. For you to apply, you must be Social Work England registered social workers who are currently in permanent employment in the sector. You must also have two years post-registration experience as a social worker working with either children or adults. Remember, this is also open to social workers practicing with adults. You must also be in a position to offer a social work placement in your workplace. You will also need to have the consent of their employer to do this. Let's now delve into why you need to do the Practice Educator course. One can easily progress to the Advanced Social Work MA, depending on your module choices if you chose to do the Practice Educator course. One can also develop expert skills in supervising others, nurturing, mentoring and being confident in developing social work practice in local authorities and change the narrative. By doing this course, you will also join a close-knit postgraduate community. You will also learn how to develop a quality placement within your setting and how best to support, teach and assess students as they develop their professional practice alongside supporting learning and professional development within your organization, local authority or trust if you work in a trust. This PE course 1 and 2 will also provide you with a solid introduction to practice education within social work. You will be prepared to be a fully-fledged practice educator who can practice this role internationally within a social work student's placement. You will also be able to work either as an on-site practice educator or off-site alongside a work-based supervisor. Let's now look at what does the course look like. Stage 1 of the PE course prepares you to work with the social work students on their first placement. You will learn to develop a curriculum, manage the placement, support learning and assess achievement. You will put this into practice through providing a student placement, usually a 70-day placement. This is where it may be difficult for one to do it when you are a locum social worker, as you will need a student to be on placement for that long, whereas your stay may not be guaranteed in that particular local authority. In Stage 2, you will provide a placement for a second social work student, usually a 100-day final placement. If you have significant experience in practice education or have taken an Enabling Others Learning social work course, you may be able to join Stage 2 directly. Remember, you also need the consent of your employer or where you are locuming. For both modules I explained earlier on, you are assessed in practice by a practice assessor also called a PA, a Stage 2 Qualified Practice Educator, and you will also be required to produce a portfolio of practice evidence including a practice learning agreement, 
induction programme, midway and final report on the student you will supervise, examples of a teaching activity, direct observations of the student. The course also requires that you as the practice educator trainee to have a few direct observations done on you by the PA. Remember the feedback from the student you will be assessing. Your class tutor and line manager is key in you passing the practical bits of the course. Lastly, let's explore what exactly you will learn to do when you embark on this course. This is from my own experiences when I completed the course. By the end of the course you will be able to plan and manage learning opportunities within a placement for a social work student. Supervise a student in practice, make judgments and assessments on a social work student's level of professional capability. Assess social work students and others against the domains and indicators of the professional capabilities framework for social work. Prepare reports about social work students which meet professional requirements. Apply your own knowledge about the ethical issues in practice education. Meet stages one and two of the practice educator professional standards, PEPs. One may argue, well, I can do all that already. Yes, you can, but you can't do it above board when you haven't done this recognized course, hence you need to do it. There you have it, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and always click the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post more videos. Thank you so much.